But so what? It's still standing, even after it's been destroyed a few times. Now, over there, you see the parliament building. And over there, you see boats. And over here, you see Oristo from Blackrock HVAC, where, where we will be talking about European heating systems. The city of Prague is full of art. <laughs> Architecture. Hi, Mamo. Slavom Rokom Vitaev. And love. But you know what this guy loves? I love HVAC. And we had an opportunity to visit Boris Cooper, owner of this beautiful flat near the center. We went for breakfast and talked about, you know, heating, domestic hot water, <laughs> copper piping, all that fun stuff. And what we are trying to do here is bring European technology into Canada. It's already here, but do we know how to use it? Do you know how to use it? Well, today we will explain because I took over his apartment with my selfie stick and we went around checking out his, uh, you know, boiler. Okay, guys, let's go check it out. Okay. We're in the bathroom now where in most European flats, you will find something hanging on the wall. It's usually white. It's usually, it usually makes a little bit of noise. What is it? It's the combination boiler and it's right there. There's no room for a water tank in, in here. You have a Protherm combination boiler that heats up your hot water. How does it do it? Bear with me. Turn on your hot water. One, two, three. This guy just fired. That's it. Turn it off. And it's off. That's it. It only works on demand. Now, there are limitations to it. Okay. It's, it's warm, warm, warm still warm okay it just fired so that's two seconds three five six seven eight okay we just got hot water so the limitations to combination boilers or tankless water systems is that you do have to wait a little bit to get your hot water in this case eight seconds I've heard some people waiting 20 seconds, but uh, they say you get used to it really quick. And if you get used to it, you don't find it a problem, then I do recommend these systems. Oh, check it out. How cool is this? Modern water faucet. Damn. Oh, that's so cool. That's a cool water faucet. Right, moving on to the heating system. We have your combi boiler and we have a radiator because who likes taking a shower and walking out cold? Nobody. We do have the same ones in Canada. We can stock these and install them. Temperature is adjusted here. You have completely off and you have max. You can warm, you can dry your clothes on it. I wouldn't be afraid of it. Hello, hello. 400 square feet over here, another five, another 100 upstairs. Here we have a second radiator, about six inches in width. Got your on and off. It's nice and warm. Get cozy. 
by your computer on the couch. For this whole apartment of 500 square feet, we have two radiators. That's it, one in the bathroom and one in the living room. That's amazing, that's so efficient. It's small, uh, it's not in the way, it's super quiet, you don't hear it. You really don't hear it. And it's convenient actually, because um, you can dry your clothes on too. <laughs> now, what is it controlled by? This guy over here. Programmable thermostat. Pro programmable thermostats are always a smart thing to have in your home, but you really do know how you, programmable thermostats are a smart thing to have at home, but you really do need to learn how to use them. And they're complicated. I have troubles too myself. Upstairs to the bedroom, which actually doesn't have its own heating. Mm. But Boris doesn't complain. He says the heat rises and it works. So I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And this is the top floor. So you do have an exterior wall. The roof and one of the walls are exterior. We have a skylight and two small windows right there. And that's the whole apartment. Great. You know, that's... Uh, I like this. It's a very simple. This is a very simple heating system to show you people. It's the start of our European tour. It's very quiet, efficient, small, and reliable because everyone here has practically the same thing. They just have to work. Okay, so that was it for our Czech Republic BlackRock HVAC tour. We will be traveling to more countries showing you other heating systems that people are installing in Europe so that we in Canada can learn how to be more efficient and how to pack more equipment in a smaller space. As they say here, what do they say here? Oh, oh. And, and as they say here, ahoy from Czech Republic. This is Orst O from BlackRock HVAC and we'll see you again. Ciao. I just want to show the viewers one more thing. This radiator by the couch, it's really cozy. You're chilling here, watching TV, and I feel the heat, it's nice. You come back from skiing, snowboarding, put your feet right up on it, you can dry your socks on it, it's nice. It's, it's not, is it ugly? It's not ugly. It's not an ugly radiator. People in Canada don't like them because they take up space, but big deal. Decorative.